The switches on the steering wheel don't seem to get much love in the Back to the Future movies. As far as I could find, they seem to appear only twice in the first movie. Once when Marty escapes from the Libyans, and once when he can't start a car in 1955. I don't think they were ever lit up in ev any of the three movies, but uh, Time Machine Builders will make them light up by adding a 9 volt battery in the, the steering wheel center pot. The original switches were Fillmore 3550 for the red ones and Fillmore 3552 for the green ones. And they can easily be found uh, online if you dig a little. You can click out the center pot from the steering wheel with little force, as you can see here. Although it may seem simple to just cut three holes and put the switches in, you may well want everything nice and center and it can get pretty crowded inside if you want to fit the 9 volt battery as well. That's why we did this back plate. It serves both as a cutting guide and as a lock to keep the switches in place once they are installed. We first taped the back plate to the center pad to keep it in place. To make sure we cut in the right spots, we have designed this little placeholder that allows us to pierce the center pot with a needle at the right angle. As the inner plastic is pretty strong, we have to heat our needles first. Once the needle is glowing, it will pierce through the plastic easily. We now do this for all four corners. Now that we have the four needles piercing through, we can mask the place where we want to cut with some tape. Now we will repeat all of this for the other two switches we have left. Now that we know where to cut, we have to heat our knife again to get through the plastic. It can take some effort from time to time, but it should work fine in the end. Now that our last cut is made, we can push out the remainder and clean up our center pad. I didn't get the Gilmore switches yet, they should be in the mail somewhere from the US to Europe. So in the meanwhile I'll use these surrogates, these are more modern but they should be the same size as what uh, I'm getting from Gilmore. To uh, know the ground is your negatives, the power is your positive. The Backplate we made comes in handy here again as we can use it to wire up everything. So we put in the green, red, and the other red. So we know exactly where they will line up inside the steering wheel. So it makes it easier to make a little wire harness once the battery goes in like this. And we know where to put all the cables. I found these clips which are pretty handy because they are not very high and they make a bend here. Um, I want have to have access through it so we'll cut off the backs to see to put a wire through which makes it a lot easier to wire it all up. So I'm first gonna cut up the back sides. On this side we don't have much space as you can see here. So we'll cut off these ones as well. If we put these and these together, we will see that they overlap a little. So we'll heat up our knife again and cut through those two. Now they actually fit. 
it. To we take the wires to strip them off. I'm adding a needle to add even more resistance to the hole. This way the two connectors will stay nicely connected when we remove them later. So now we can take our pliers and squeeze the whole thing together. Cut off the remainder of the needle. Here, let's see. Okay. On the other side as well. And this is give us a really nice connection. So this is okay for the positive side. Now we'll do exactly the same for the other side. We want to give the wire some slack because the first times I tried, they were a bit tight. And I had to redo it all, so... This off. Strip them. And now we do the same for the black one. So this is what we ended up with. So we have a nice cable harness. And they all seem to work. And this is the wiring harness we ended up with. Now let's fit this into the center cap we have here. So nice part is we can again use the same back plate to hold both the battery and the switches. And the back plate will be used to hold them in place. So I have these needles that I can put through. And bend them a little bit so they stay in place. Put the battery on top. Those are locked and will not move anymore. Installing the harness should be pretty straightforward from now on. And it's connected, so if we turn it around, we should have working switches. As I told you earlier, there's a lot, not enough space here inside you click it inside the steering wheel so we have to bend these forward like this same goes here and this will give it enough space to fit inside the steering wheel now let's see if we can fit it inside the car and if it works <laughs> 